Today marks the first observance of the United Nations World Drowning Prevention Day. And to commemorate this, the National Sea Rescue Institute is launching its Survival Swimming Program, a vital program for South Africa with our high number of drowning fatalities and the victims mostly children. Tanya Nift finds out more. <laughs> The anguish of one of many parents who have lost their children in drowning incidents. But the NSRI, situated in Cape Town, is determined to help change the sad statistic. On average, over the past three years, 1,500 people in South Africa have died. Of those 1,500, 30% are children under the age of 14 years. And one of the fundamental problems is that children cannot swim. Through their survival swimming program, the NSRI focuses on teaching children across the country not only to swim, but also about water safety. The lifeguarding services, the boats in the water is secondary to the fundamental primary goal, which is to get people water safe by giving them the education and giving them the basic survival swimming skills to be able to, should they fall into the water, move to the side of the pool. So far, they've reached more than 500 educational facilities throughout the country and teach more than 500,000 children annually. But they need assistance. We've asked government to get involved by making water safety education as part of the curriculum. Parents say they are grateful to have their children in this program. For me, it is important that he should know if anything happened at the beach or at the pool, to, what to do to survive. They must know the basics. I love them. They must have, have that survival skills. The work they're doing here will not only save lives, but also give these young kids more confidence in the water. So instead of fearing it, they'll embrace it, enjoy it, and respect it. Something that every child and even adults should have the right to be taught to do. Tanya Neft, Cape Town.